Hi everyone, this is Star Moon Angel 1111. This is Victoria. So I had no intention on recording a reading today, but I really could not stop hearing the messages that Angel and Spirit were giving me, letting me know that there is an urgent message that needs to be channeled right now. now I don't know if this is for the collective, well, it's always for the collective, but it could also be for one or a couple of you that really need to hear this right now. I was doing a lot of stuff, but when they tell me to do something, I listen. Because this is my purpose, you guys. So I have an idea that I know what this is about, but we're going to find out. This is definitely a message directly from Divine Masculine and from my angels to you guys. They just would not leave me alone. Okay, so if you're new here, please look down below for a little bit more information about me, my website, what I'm all about. I'm new to this whole YouTube thing, even though I'm not new at being a psychic medium and reader. So, if I resonate with you and you like my energy, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, so I'm here to help you out. So, they are really pressing me. So, let's see what's going on. Just give me one second to connect. Okay, so when the candle goes out, that's their way of letting me know that I'm ready. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here because it's pretty big. Isn't it cute? I love this candle. All right. Whew. So now I know that they're here. So let me shuffle right in front of you guys. See what's going on. Okay. They're saying to me that this is pretty important. Whether somebody's going through something right now they need to, and they need to hear a message. If something's preventing somebody from union. There's something that's going to come out here for everybody. I know that for a fact. All I know is I was minding my business. I was only going to post another video today. And they said, nope. Turn around. You need to do something right now for the collective. I said, Come on. They said, nope. You have to. So, I do this for the greatest good. So, if that's what they want to do, that means that there is a message that needs to be shared. I'm getting that this is uh, specifically from the divine masculine to the divine feminine. Something that they cannot communicate with you in the physical right now. So, I'm getting that this message is for those of you that are currently in separation. Okay, if this does not resonate with you at all, feel free to just X out. I mean, you know, I'm reading for the collective, so there is a particular group that this is going to resonate with you, and I want you guys to know that time is just an illusion. There's no such thing as time when it comes to the divine, just energy. So even though this was posted in March 2019, or if you're watching this right now, if this doesn't resonate with you now, out of nowhere in a couple of months or even a couple of days, weeks, hours, whatever, all of a sudden you'd be like, holy crap, wait, this makes sense. If you had no idea about this channel and it's 2020, 2021, seven years later, I don't care. <laughs> and that's when the divine guided you to find my page and I mean my channel. And my page, because there's info on that below. That's when it's going to resonate with you. There, there are no accidents. No accidents. No such thing. Okay. So, I communicate directly with the divine. And they are letting me know that this reading is going to be a little bit 
intense. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be positive or negative. I'm getting positive. But there is something the Divine Masculine needs you to know right now that he feels he cannot or doesn't have the courage to let you know right now. But I am going to tell you, I've been sensing... You, oh, a jumper. It's okay. Three of Wands. I've been sensing the union is very near, guys. It really is. There is a, there's been a huge shift in energy, especially with this entering Pisces season. I mean, huge, 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 huge. Big changes. Now, remember everybody has free will, so messages could come to you, energies could shift, but if you guys don't do the work that you need to do, okay? Your energy is still going to be stuck in one place. And that will prolong the journey. Because the purpose of this journey is to let go and learn all your lessons so that you and your other, your divine counterpart can come into complete union, the sacred union, and guide humanity towards ascension. So... Do your work, guys. I feel like some of you are stuck and starting to doubt things, too. And that's probably why you have to hear this message. Because I feel like the energy for union is, is, is right here. And if you guys don't take advantage of that, ooh, there you go. Tower. Ace of Cups. Six of Wands. Wow. I knew it. Okay. Okay then you're going to miss this opportunity. So maybe that's why it's so important. Okay. So all of those just jumped out right now. And what did I say? Intense. I knew it. Look at the card that came out. The tower. Come on, the tower, you guys. We know what the tower is, do we? If not, I'll explain. So I'm getting here the three of wands, the tower, the ace of cups, and the six of wands. So I want you guys to know that I channel directly from spirit and angels. So I'm actually talking to them. I hear them right now. And I use um, my cards as just more guidance, but I read intuitively. So I'm more going towards what they tell me and that I'm looking at the cards in addition. So I don't have a particular spread or anything like that. I just... Let them lead me. Okay, so what I'm getting here right now is that definitely, obviously, Divine Masculine has a very important message that he needs to share with you right now. He has just literally, okay, been hit with a tower, tower moment. He had a tower moment, okay? If you guys are in separation, which I feel this message is definitely towards um, those that are not in union right now, Union has not happened. Whether you're in communication or not, if you are in communication, this is, this person, Divine Masculine has been distant. You have not been communicating the way that you used to. You're not sure about this connection, where it's going. But I'm letting you know that Union is definitely near. So what I'm getting here is that very recently something happened within your dynamic or within their lives in particular. I'm getting that for some of you, you haven't had any contact at all and something happened within their life that created a tower moment. But I'm also getting that some of you had recently had small communication with the Divine Masculine about something that has led you to feel kind of uncertain on whether or not they even want to talk to you or not, okay? Because they weren't really moving forward the way that you wanted them to. This could resonate with you, however it resonates with you. Whatever happens, something cause a tower moment for a divine masculine. Tower moment could be your life being flipped upside down, epiphanies, being hit out of nowhere with a surge of emotions. Like something just snap clicked. And they're like, why wasn't I seeing this before? Holy shit, where did this come from? Okay, but see, look at the cards that are right next to it. We got the Ace of Cups, and we have the Six of Wands. So this goes hand in hand with the energies that I got before I even started reading. This Tower moment 
with the divine masculine is in regards to him reflecting about your relationship even though he's been at, at some point he tried to give himself every possible reason why this relationship was not right but that's part of the journey you guys it's denying it denying denying it because the the energy is so strong between you guys and the divine masculine has so much work to do more so than the divine feminine divine feminine has a lot of work to do too throughout this journey but because of karma and past lives and a lot of things the divine masculine has a lot more to go through okay and remember they're more earthy in general so right before your recent separation they try to trick themselves into believing that this relationship was not for you for for them or they were in a relationship with a karmic the entire time. Now, I want you guys, I have something to say before I continue about karmics in particular. A lot of readers focus on the karmic situations being a third party, as in a romantic third party, somebody else in the relationship. But I feel like that kind of leads people the wrong way often. And sometimes when people watch these videos or have these readings and they have no idea whether or not Divine Masculine was seeing somebody else at any given time, it actually creates feelings of negativity. Like, could he have been? Is there a karmic? I don't know. This video keeps talking about it. Okay? And by having that feeling... That has, that actually stops you from being able to move forward towards union. And so I, what I'm saying right now came out of nowhere. So this is definitely me channeling directly from the divine angels. So maybe that's part of the message. I'm doing the reading on divine masculine too, but I think that's also, whoa, that just hit me out of nowhere. Hold on. They're telling me to listen for a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting that. Some of you had no idea whether or not this person was in a karmic situation or not. Everybody's in a karmic situation at some point. But some of you had no idea whether or not this person, Divine Masculine, was in a karmic situation in the in and outs of this relationship, this cycle that you've been going through recently or in the past year or at all. And you've always had that doubt, okay? But there has never been like full proof whether or not they've been seeing a karmic or something. And, 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 and a lot of you have been wondering, even though the Divine Masculine has been saying over and over again that there's there has never been anyone else and the reason for your separation has nothing to do with anybody else. I feel like when other readers only refer to karmics as other people, that has actually caused this like sickening feeling inside of a lot of you that has actually stopped you from moving forward. So I wanna point out that karmic situations do not have to be third party situations as in another person, okay? I feel like people don't explain enough that karmic situations don't have to be for the karmic, okay? <laughs> Doesn't have to be the karmic. Karmic situations could be family issues, Okay, something going on in their family life that's stopping them from union. Karmic situations could be past life karma that they have to pay off in order to learn their lessons and move towards union. Karmic situations could be going through hell when it comes to finances or the workplace. And they have to go through that in order to move forward in their union. Karmic situations could be an overbearing parent. Okay, or... Whether, maybe some of you are of two different races or religions or there's something that um, same-sex you know relationships or something that makes people around them target you guys those are karmic situations so it doesn't have to be another person 
I think for a lot of you, not everybody in this collective, but a lot of you needed to hear that. Like they literally are just like, thank you for listening and doing this reading out of nowhere and I, I, I need to get this message across. So back to the Divine Masculine, what I'm getting here is that something happened very recently. Okay, so I thought I heard something. Anyway, I'm back. <laughs> That's also part of being clear audience, that you hear things all over the place. You're like, who's talking to me? What the hell? So I just lost my train of thought really quickly. Anyway, so Divine Masculine has definitely gone through a recent tower moment. Like something just smacked them in the face. And it's completely emotional. Completely emotional in, in regards to the Divine Feminine. That's why we have the Ace of Cups here. Okay? Cups, emotion. If you look at the Ace of Cups... It's this hand coming out with this cup of emotion pouring out all over the place. And then we have the six of wands, which is somebody, you know, on their horse, confident as hell, showing off their victory. So I feel like Divine Masculine has been pondering about this relationship, unsure about whether or not it was right for them. But I feel, and I don't know if this is gonna resonate with everybody, but I'm sensing that some of you had recent communication about something. It might've been something kind of like silly that you thought was silly or just random communication, not random, but you know, nothing about union or anything like that. Just kind of like, I feel like the door has opened a little bit for a lot of you in this collective to communicate. Like there's, it's not completely like ghosting or silent right now, but it's not, there has been nothing to lead you to believe that you're going to like be together again or they're going to move forward. I feel like a lot of you in this club is so have no freaking idea how they feel and it's been making you uneasy, but at the same time, it's making you let go. It's like you're in between of these two feelings, right? Some of you are in communication already and have taken that step forward because, I mean, the energies of March for Union are so strong. Where, how and when you move forward towards Union in this month and if you move forward towards Union in this month is completely dependent on your particular energy, their particular energy and your particular situation. But for sure, something happened recently that just, wow, flip the switch in terms of their emotion. It's a kind of like they were just like, hold on, damn. How did I not see that for all this time? I've been in this negative energy, but she or he has everything on my checklist. They're not this person that I thought that they were. Maybe they were just going through something or maybe it's me. Why do I feel this way? I feel like I'm in love. Oh my God, is this love? Oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I don't know. That I'm, Right now, that was pure channeling. That's what I'm getting right now. Something happened recently that just made them realize how important you actually are. And I've been, if you've been going along with my readings recently, it's like every reading kind of has been going towards that. So for the collective that I'm reading, this is definitely, the energies are strong, you guys. They're confident right now that they feel this way. And it has like, it has them feeling all over the place. They don't even know. Like before, at least they were good at repressing it, <laughs> giving themselves every freaking excuse as to why this wasn't going to work out. But they have run out of excuses. And at the same time, you guys have done a good job. A lot of you have done a good job. You're not chasing the way you used to. You're in your power more than you ever have been. And they've sensed that energy. Remember that you guys need to remember that you're one soul, okay? So while you being in that power they're being guided to be in that power and they're seeing you in that power. It's not fear. It's not fear. 
people say, oh, they're starting to realize, you know, that they fear losing. You know, fear is not a part of this journey. This journey is not about fear. This journey is about becoming comfortable and confident with yourself and loving the other person unconditionally, no matter how horrible or how many times they've triggered you. So I, that's why all of you have different situations, but they all revolve around the same thing. It's one person triggering your innermost, the thing that you battle with the most inside to help you guys heal completely to then become that divine, that representation of the divine of unconditional love. But they have been so, so they're, they're, the, the divine masculine tends to be a little bit more logical and they've, they've run out of logic. <laughs> they're start, their logic is starting to flip. And what seems, they're always going to be a little logical, but what's, what's making sense to them now logically is the fact that, wow, she really hasn't really, she or he, sorry, I say she in terms of divine feminine very often because it's just like a, it just comes out naturally, but it doesn't have to be, you know that. They're like, wow, what's logical is that this person is such a good person. They are not this person that I made them out to be. Maybe they were going through something, maybe. But I'm starting to actually look within their soul and understand that no one is going to be this unconditionally caring for me or put up with my shit. Like this person, she, wow, this person is so strong. It's me. That is what happened recently. And it was literally like something you said, something you texted. It could have even been something energetically. That there was a shift. Something changed in the way you thought. Maybe they saw something on social media or somewhere that made them feel like that pit in their stomach of maybe jealousy and that, that made them realize what the whatever whatever it may be everybody's situation is different but they were led to this tower moment yeah so the divine said it was kind of urgent to let you guys know that because a lot of you are like giving up and you shouldn't they want me to reassure you not to and they also want to for whoever resonated with the whole karmic situation thing was also important to know all right, so I just went on and on and on because I was channeling. So I just want to pull more cards and see what else the divine has to say about this message. Okay. And if they need me to do another video, I'll do it because I, I'm just getting the, I just like stopped everything I was doing because I was just getting the energy to say a lot today. Like there's the, I mean, is, we're going towards a new moon this week. So I don't know if that's what, what's going on but I have a lot to say okay. they're telling me to not shuffle anymore so I'm gonna pull four more cards underneath each one. Oh my god yeah I mean th this is so clear oh my god I mean I <sighs> If you watch all my other videos, you'll see that clarification from the divine is always so clear. And I want to thank them for that. I want to thank them for using me as such a clear channel to help you guys. Okay, so we have the seven of swords and underneath the three of wands, the tower on top of the uh, six of cups. So we have the hermit underneath the ace of cups and we have the judgment card right next to, right underneath the six of wands. What am I getting here? The seven of swords is kind of that like, kind of sneaky energy. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that the divine masculine has realized, okay, that they were acting a little bit selfishly and narcissistically and they thought that they were getting away from a bad situation by 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 going in so in um going into separation with you guys but that didn't leave them with happiness that left them contemplating whether or not it was the right decision and what's the six of cups you guys the six of cups is a is a card of reminiscing over the past thinking about the past missing someone like crazy 
So after they thought they were getting away with everything and, and they were going to be happier, they started missing you a lot. But you see, this card, the Six of Cups, is underneath the tower. So again, recently something happened where they just were like, geez, I miss this person. And it just created this tower moment. Like, why am I feeling this way? Is it my feelings? What do I do? What do I do? I don't know how to feel. The Hermit card is underneath the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups pouring out their emotions. Really emotional. They, that's love right there, okay? The Tower moment is the fact that they miss you when they just realize or confirm the feelings that they have for you. The Hermit card is reflection, insight. It's the card of like having also like an epiphany. You have to, a lot of times you have to go, go into hermit mode in order to have that tower, mo tower moment. So I'm getting that that's exactly what happened. See, the hermit is facing this way, okay? The hermit is somebody that, he has a light in his hand. So he, through his reflection and through his insight and personal time, he's getting insight on how he feels towards a situation, okay? their inner truth but the hermit's facing this way okay so the first cards here are the cards of reflection the cards of sneaking away and what i'm getting is the hermit kind of shined their finally shined his light onto the divine masculine and said hey this seven of swords energy that's not real what's real is that you miss this person what's real is that it's shaking your life up not to be with this person. You miss this person. You have these strong emotions for this person. You need to stop denying this connection with this person. That's what the, the hermit is shining his light on. Okay, finally. And then we have judgment card underneath the six of um, wands. Six of wands is victory. Be feeling victorious. And the judgment card is finally, it's, it's, it's a union. It's finally seeing things the way that they should be seen. Getting clarification. Forgiveness. It's judgment. They want to come back. And you know, they want you to forgive them. They, they, they're still in the tower energy right now. But they feel that what's going to make them feel, they, they're realizing that they want, they had this calling from the divine. You see the judgment card, you see the angel with his horn calling out, calling out right? Like judgment day. Next to the hermit card, they had an epiphany. They had an epiphany. I believe that the, my angels are urging me to give this message because this epiphany was guided by them. That's basically what they're saying. They were in this hermit energy for a little bit way too long and the divine basically stepped in and say, excuse me, it's time. Don't you see what's going on? Hello. And they made them shine their light, that light that the hermit is holding onto the fact that they miss you and they have strong feelings for you and that what makes them feel victorious and stable is you that's huge so i think that the divine wanted the divine wanted me to share with you guys today that get your shit together okay let go of doubt and fear right now because they are about to come forward with something very important and if you have already reached that level where you're like starting to doubt and, and completely moving on, then you're going to start this cycle all over again. So they want you to let you know. They wanted me to let you know that they stepped in. I feel like this was even as recent as yesterday. <laughs> it's been happening, but like something really, really recent. Just like, poof. you guys can comment if you want. Let me know if any of you have had like conversations recently about something. They acted nonchalant, like whatever. Plus, do any of you recall maybe something you might have said about something? But something happened that either reminded them of you in their own life, or it could have been a dream. It could have even been something from the divine or the three, the five D. Oh, 
I'm gonna leave that there for a minute. Or something that you said that just made them realize like, wow, she's, or he's everything. What am I doing? Say, so let's see this card that jumped out. What is it? Oh my God. Oh my God. You saw that jump out. Judgment card, Wheel of Fortune. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Wheel of Fortune, you guys? My goodness. That's the card of luck. Sudden luck, too. Like, out of nowhere. Okay? That wheel has gone around. This cycle of being in this energy, this seven of swords, kind of like borderline narcissistic, to be honest with you, but it was part of their lesson, is ending. They were hit with the judgment card. They were hit with the tower, wheel of fortune. This is sudden good luck and fortune towards happiness. Union is coming. The angels wanted me to share that with you because a lot of you were about to go into this energy that you should not have that you should not go into and they i guess they wanted me to make that aware make you guys aware of that so that you can be prepared for this and keep guiding them towards it now this is not saying they're coming tomorrow it might take them a while for action okay but the moment has happened so you know they're coming <laughs> but it also depends on you all right, tell me a little bit more about this wheel of, ah, wheel, look what just jumped out. Oh my God, these are, so, first of all, that's one, two, three, four, that's five major arcana cards now, five. Major arcana cards carry the most amount of energy of all the cards. That's a lot. This is pretty intense strength. <laughs> this just clarifies what I was just saying to you guys. What was I just saying? They want you to know that you not to let go, not to quit your journey or doubt your journey or give in to these fears. They want you to have strength right now. They just clarified that by having this card jump out because this wheel of fortune, this judgment is yours. And let me just point out that the strength card, look at what's on top of her, of her head. That's an infinity symbol. What's that? Twin flames, hello, infinity, forever in your strength. The power of union, both of you guys together, is the strongest bond. It's divine strength. You need to stay in this energy take advantage of this not taking advantage doesn't sound like a good term but you know what I'm saying don't now all of a sudden start doubting union and if you really can't get out of this energy then honestly it's not your time yet it's not your time but I encourage you to do the work and just Meditate on this, have faith, encourage them, talk to them in the 5D, okay? Because you know that this happened, the tower moment happened, they're feeling this way right now. But now they need to be pushed and encouraged by you. I'm not saying text them about it. This is all in the mental, spiritual. Do your work and encourage them to come forward. This just stood out to me. That's why I just stopped out of nowhere. I just split the deck in two and look at what's right here. The Ten of Pentacles, I have to, I have to pull these out. And the World card. The Ten of Pentacles. Happy, abundance, family life. Being together, union. Abundant in everything. Emotions, love, finances, everything. The World card. You are their world. They realize that this cycle of separation is over. The world is now calling on you guys 
to live out your purpose, which is coming together in complete union, trusting, letting go of all earthly energies you have to let go of and raising the frequency of this world. This is beautiful. Wow. Look at that. I thought this was going to be a quick sudden message, but you know what? This needed to be said. Look at this. Okay. Four more, and then I'm going to go into another deck. Oh, my God. How many major arcana cards are we going to... The sun card? I'm gonna, oh my gosh. I'm gonna put these the way that they fell out in their order so that you can see. I got the nine of wands, the sun, the six of pentacles, the lovers. Holy crap, you guys. Holy crap. First of all, I know I said this already, but I'm going to point out again, holy major arcana cards. The strength, the energy in this reading is amazing. The world card, strength, judgment, wheel of fortune, the sun, lovers, tower, hermit. That's eight. And we didn't even pull that many cards. Oh, here it is. It was like this. Sorry. I mean, this is clear. Look at the cards in between the sun and the lovers. The sun and the lovers? The sun and the lovers? Happiness? Clarity? They receive clarity that this is this is what they want. You're the love of their life. They finally received that clarity. And it happened in a it happened in a very tower energy kind of way. Something happened. I'm telling you, something happened recently that they were just like, holy shit. What am I doing? I am not letting this person go. <sighs> but see, the Nine of Wands is somebody that's like guarded, protecting themselves. And the Six of Pentacles is that need for balance. Okay. Give me a second. They're telling me some more. So what I'm getting here is that finally the light of the sun has clarified to them that they were being way too guarded and there was a big imbalance in this relationship in the past and that had everything to do with their energy. They're realizing that they had a lot to do with that now. But it has also been clarified that they want this union with you. Guys, the lovers. The world, strength, wheel of fortune, judgment. After the tower and hermit card. This is coming soon. That's very clear. Wow, wow. I'm going to pull four from the after tarot. Couple angel cards. Couple oracle cards. It wasn't supposed to be long, but I'm doing what they're guiding me to do. And I think then that the, uh, the reason for this message to be urgent has become pretty clear, huh? I mean, we started off the reading with the tower. Epiphany. Like a lot of you have been sensing that this is coming soon but also a lot of you have also been starting to doubt again going into the energy of like should i just move on like whatever i'm so over it like i don't think he cares blah blah, blah. like that whole doubt like you're not supposed to be in that place right now you have to trust if you don't trust in them if you don't trust in the union it's gonna bring them back to that place i mean like they want you to focus on this energy 
pray about this energy, meditate on this energy, keep sending this energy back to them so that they can encourage them towards action. Wow, my shuffling skills are like really out of control right now, not working. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. Let's see. Four after tarot. After tarot is awesome because it's like what happens after the pictures and the um, right away, like the, the moment after. So three of pentacles, queen of pentacles, eight of swords, which is awesome in the after tarot. Oh, the freaking, you cannot make the shit off. I'm sorry for my language. When I get excited, it just like, all of my New Jersey self comes out. I don't know if you can tell I'm from the Northeast. Some people say I have an accent. I don't hear it, obviously, because it's natural to me. But anyway. Three of, I'm going to turn it around, but then it's going to be back. I'm going to have to flip it so that you can see it in the order that I got it, okay? You guys. Da, 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 da. Now, this is the after tarot. Whereas, I'm going to start with these two. In the right away, the eight of swords is this person still being tied up. Stuck. That's the energy that both of you have been in, and especially them. Stuck, tied up, not knowing what to do. Just like, I don't even know what to think. Keeping to themselves. But this is the after tarot. So what do you see here that's different? Somebody comes with their sword. Swords represent truth truth and cuts those cords that bind them after tarot and that's exactly what's happening right now something happened they had an epiphany something that you said something some that someone said a dream they had something but that sort of truth after that happened just like instantly came with that sword and, and just ripped all of those cords that bind them finally and look what we got here again in the after tarot though the tower <laughs> so i'm going to show you so you can see them both this is the um writer weight picture and this is the after tarot so here in the tower in the writer weight which is like present recent past epiphany Hit in the face with these sudden emotions. We spoke about it. But in the after tarot, the tower has already crumbled. It's like done. Crumbled, done, happened. Here they're jumping out of the building. Here they're already on the floor dead. Done. Done. Like there's no coming back. So what's telling me is exactly that they had this tower moment and there's no coming back so when you guys come into union you're coming into union forever and that's your journey the cycles are coming to an end there's you've had a million tower moments all of you both of you but the one that happened just recently for divine masculine it just clarified so much. Got the Lowers card, the Ten of Pentacles, done. All the bullshit, done. This is union coming. They already, they're clear on it, okay? Clear, very clear. This was one of the first cards we got and this is one of the last cards we've got. I mean, that, if that can't be, that's confirmation of, of, of a connection. And then we have the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing, has her stuff together. She can do everything. Okay. Good mom, good person, good lover. That's that person. Okay. But she, in the before, in the um, right away tarot, she held that pentacle very close to her. But she's holding it out now. 
So that's you, Divine Feminine, ready to share the abundance that you have been creating with the Divine Masculine. And the three of Pentacles in the right way is is somebody there with uh, like papers, like almost like legal documents. But here, those are done. So that's already been signed. So that's like your soul contract coming into fruition. Wow, this is awesome. All right. I'm going to pick two cards from Archangel Michael Tower, um, Oracle. And then one from my love, Oracle. This was a long reading, longer than I anticipated. But it was an urgent message. And it was a beautiful one. So stop the doubt right now. Please. Some of you had to hear that. And some of you in particular, like that message about the karmic kind of just, I had no plan on having that conversation. But it's like, it's like I was midway through saying all the things I was saying and then I realized what I was talking about. And, I, and it like, that happens when I channel. Like I don't even realize that I'm talking. <laughs> it's like something else, you know what I mean? Um, I feel like some of you in particular in this collective have had to hear that. Because I feel like that had a lot to do with or whether it actually be a real like karmic in terms of another person. But I feel like some of you, you like somewhere inside were like, no, there's no other person. Like you knew that they were dating and stuff, but you didn't think there was anyone else that they were like in a like actual like relationship with you. And then hearing all of the, those messages kind of make, made you feel sad. And some of this is, this might not resonate with everybody, but they felt like since this entire urgent message is about staying in your power so that you can be ready when they return and forgive them with unconditional love they want you to understand that their karmic situation is most likely if you've been feeling that way not another person it could be a family or something else actually i'm getting a very strong family situation for the small not the small well for the group of people that that my message right now is resonating with in terms of the karmic situation okay and they urged me to say that right in the beginning because I felt like those of you that were feeling this way every time you tried to like go towards unconditional love and being ready you'd get this like sickening feeling about them being with someone else and it would just put you in that energy that they don't want you to be in so that that's a very important message Oh, great. That's perfect. You're on the right path. I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make healthful life changes. That just goes hand in hand with what we were saying. They're just letting you know, hello, you're on the right path. Don't give up now. He just had a freaking epiphany that you are coming into a union. <laughs> One more. Ah. Your children are watched over by angels. Thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. Please guide me so that I know the best ways to be a good parent and role model for my own and other people's children. That one's interesting. I feel like that message is part in particular, well, it's not really for the collective. I feel like that message, again, because since this is like urgent message central, that was for a particular group of you. That might be whether you, some of you are like single parents and not sure. Oh, sorry, I had something fall. Not sure whether or not they're ever going to return. Like still not trusting the union and not knowing if they're going to be a good influence because of how many times they've left and whatnot. I feel like that's a special message for some of you. They're letting you know, no, this, you're on the right path. This is the journey you're supposed to go through and this is not going to affect your children. Okay, so if that doesn't resonate with you, let the energy go. But again, these were urgent messages. First, we got the karmic message. Now we got a message about children. Like clearly, 
they're just trying their hardest to prepare you for union. The divine's trying their hardest. So they're giving specific messages to certain people out here that need to hear it. The overall energy is the same for everybody. But they're really going out of their way. Here's another one. Wow. Honor and trust your feelings. Thank you for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. I mean, that's clear. You're on the right path. Honor and trust your feelings. Trust. Just trust. Be strong. Because this is coming. All right. Let's go into my love oracle. I'm going to pull T. Uh, two. Spirit. What message does Divine Masculine have? What do they want to actually like, tell them right now? Tell Divine, the Divine Feminines right now that they are unable to do so at the moment because of the energy that they're in? Give me two. Two messages, please. Two messages. Hmm. Oh my God. The card of priorities. You, un but it's the message that's going to click right now. You understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations. What are they, what is he telling you right now? How important it is for you to prioritize love right now above all of the crappy situations that you guys have been in in the past. Importance of manifesting love in all situations. So stay in this energy of love to make sure that this union happens. Okay, that's what they're telling you. Give me one more message from the Divine Masculine, please. <laughs> it's so clear. <laughs> Now these two cards are, these are, um, it's like, it's, these are messages from the divine masculine himself. So it, it almost sounds like him. He's basically saying, Hey, can you make this a little easier and just like be there? Like, and not give me shit when I come back. <laughs> so we have this one, the priorities one. Now we have <laughs> cooperation. <laughs> In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's funny because it's such a divine masculine thing. It's like, hello, I'm coming back, but like, can you just forgive me? <laughs> Be ready. They're telling me to pull one more. Fine, fine. This video is going really long. Whatever they, whatever you want. Oh, they want you to do this so that you guys could have harmony, able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything, no matter what has happened. Okay. Very good. This was awesome. I just want to ask one more question for you guys because I know you guys are thinking it. I know I did my weekly reading already, but. Hey, look, if this has to be a longer video, then it has to be a longer video. It is what it is. That's what they're telling me to do. So I want to know, Divine, you told the collective what energy they need to be in, and you told them that the Divine Masculine had an epiphany, and, they're, and it hit them out of nowhere, and that union is coming, and they want them to be receptive to it. You sent your messages for those that have children and you sent your message for those that had that feeling because of the karmic blah, blah, blah. But what I want to know so that I can help, because I'm sensing that a lot in the collective just want to know, is what the Divine Masculine feels about physically coming into union right now i'm not gonna ask what you need to do to make it happen because we're not supposed to be tied to an outcome even though they're letting you know that union's coming and they already told you that you just need to stay in your power and wait patiently 
because it's coming. <laughs> All right. Ah, no, that's too many to pull out. What's wrong with you? Oh, gee. All right. How are they feeling right now about physically? I know they're very close. I know it's happening this month for sure or very soon afterwards, but how do they feel right now about where they thought their current thoughts, like in the moment right now, feelings about coming physically forward now that they realize and have this epiphany. Guys, my shuffling skills are really ridiculous right now. They're just not working. All right, let's shuffle one more time. Tell me. How do they feel about physically coming? Have they reached that epiphany yet? I mean, they're going to eventually. Oh my God, we got the three of pentacles again. Um, nine of swords. Ace of swords. What does that mean to you? First of all, we got the three of pentacles in the Apatero. So here it shows that picture I was talking about, signing documents and whatnot. To me, that means making something official, clearly. You see, it's a man and a woman with a document, like, hey, look at this. So for me, that's like the thoughts of making it official. Right now, there's still a little bit in this energy. It's like, oh, I have a headache. This just came out of nowhere, my God. I really do feel this way, but what am I gonna do? How am I gonna do? But basically, They've already had this Ace of Swords moment, which is the Sword of Truth. So they're going to come forward to you with this truth very soon. Because they don't want to be in here. That's done. It's done. I pull another one. <laughs> I love when they say pull another one. I, I love it when, when they clarify and make it clear so I don't have to pull a million. Okay. Ace of Swords next to the Justice card. Hello, what does that mean? Want to make it official right now it just happened out of nowhere it was really recent so they're like freaking out but they already know what they want to do and they have to do they are going to come forward and they want to come forward physically with the truth and create justice between you and balance because that's gonna happen all right you guys this was beautiful it had to be said it was an hour plus well worth it <laughs> that I took out, even though I was about to go run some errands and whatnot. It had to be said. Some of you, I hope you feel better after this reading and know that this is uh, big changes are happening, you guys. So if you'd like to support my channel, please like and subscribe to my channel so you can get notifications when I post some stuff. I'm going to be posting regularly, but there are going to be times where you're not going to expect me to post and I'm just going to post. <laughs> just like now and so if you subscribe you get notification of that if i resonate with you if you like my energy go ahead and do that and also look down below so that you can learn a little bit more about me some links um i have a blog i'm gonna be writing a lot it's my journey it's my journey too your journey is my journey this is my purpose all right sending lots of love and light love you guys bye